Welcome to lesson two. Now we're learning six new notes on the open string, the accompaniment strings. These are the bass strings. I will stay in C major. String 16 is C. String 17 is G. String 15 is F. Then I go on octophire and play the chord string. String 4 is C, string 3 is F, and string 5 is G. Now I can play a simple pattern, like a waltz pattern, like C, 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 C. Now that you know a few accompanying strings, you can play a simple melody and just add one bass note to start off with. So I will play a simple song, Cuckoo. Bass. In the meantime, Mary had another lamb, and we play this tune in F. We start on the D string with the first finger on the seventh fret. Mary had a little lamb, and we use two basses, the F and the C bass. <laughs> There are many more tunes on the D string in the book, but let's go back to the accompanying strings. We are now going to play chords. So chord consists of a bass string and then the chord. This is for instance C, E, G, C. If I play them together, they sound like this. C, Same with G. G, E, D, G, G, B, D, G. And if I play them together, G. I can now put melody and bass together and play a little waltz. One, two, three. After we learned the notes on the C string, the G string, the D string, we now come to the two A strings. Usually only the inner A string is used. The other A string is needed when you want to play a chord, make up a chord. So the notes on the A strings are A, B, C, D, E. Usually I slide up to F. A, E, D, C, B, 
They're the same here. So if you work that fast through the book, you know all the notes on the strings up to here. So now you can actually play a scale. And you can play arpeggios. Another good exercise once you know scales is doing exercises for the right sum. The right sum really does a lot of work and sometimes it has to go very quickly. So if you do a few exercises every day, say on the zither, the closer you play to the sound hole, the softer the sound. The closer you play to the fingerboard, the shorter the sound and you have to make an accompaniment that suits different kind of songs, like a marching song, the Grand of Duke of York. <laughs> play Silent Night differently. In my book I also have a chord chart of chords that you can play on the fretboard. This is called the guitar style, hum and strum. If you want to sing a folk song and you can't play the melody, you can actually play chords on the top strings of, of the zither. So that's C, G, crucified without saying my fingers were well right because I didn't wash my fingers at all. You know how they say the little finger should be next and mine goes like that. Yeah. So. 